Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night. I'm kicking it to September tomorrow, folks. You're going to love it. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. This is a great card. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you, you what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 150, Nasdaq off 21, S&P's down 14 and a half, gold contract down $12.10, trading at 1724 an ounce. We got silver down 37 cents, $17.91 an ounce, light sweet crude off 245, $89.18 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note down five ticks, trading 116.27. The 30 year off 16 ticks at 136.09 in King Dollar. King Dollar down 138 ticks, trading 108, 636. The Euro is at one, the Yen is at 138. The British Pound is at 116 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna well, know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, the bottom line, what I expect you to see out here the next couple days, folks, is that this is gonna be building cause for the next leg down. You know, this is actually the, yeah, so we'll see how it shakes out. But that, that's, you got Wednesday, we're at Wednesday, bottom line, Thursday and Friday, volume's gonna get lighter. You're gonna be bouncing around this whole area three or four days, come back next Tuesday, and I expect you're gonna take the next leg down. So when we're taking a look at this, let me show you this for a second, because you had the sign of, the sign of strength here, going back on the 27th, right? Bottom line, you get that sign of strength, you know, you're coming into that sign of strength right now in the SPY, as well as the Qs, but now let me show you the Dow Industrials, because you're always looking for clues, man, like, okay, where does this baby wanna go? What's it wanna do? These indices always love being in harmony, that's the bottom line. Well, you can see what, what has happened out here. The bottom, uh, let me see, make sure I get the, get the day before. No, oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, one second. There we go. So if we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that the Dow, bottom line, you know, yesterday it got down, they closed out it, today you're breaking it. So you're breaking the sign of strength. So when you're breaking the sign of strength, the way I'd look at this, there's a couple different ways. The first way, you go like this. If I take, well, actually, the first way you go like this. This is pretty cool, actually. Let's do this. So let's picture that you're building another ABC structure down, because we're in an ABC down market. I mean, last Friday, when it broke, it broke everywhere, and there's so many ABC downs, you didn't have enough money to trade them all, uh, shot them all, still trading them. So let's take a look at this. You get 33,364 is your A point. I, that's what I'm saying, That I'm, I'm speculating this, okay? I'll take the B point out here today, it's 31,624. 31624. That gives us a 1740A to B. Now let's picture by the time we close Friday that this is actually going to bounce back up into the down of Monday. So I'm going to say that the B point, the C point rather, is going to be 32,278. Okay, so that gets us a price projection of 30538 And let's go see where this is. 30775 30660 30000 This is cool, man. Okay, I'm gonna, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this, folks, and put this on a weekly, right? Because what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the highs of the lows. So the high of the low is 31144 and this is saying 30,538. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go right into this thing, man. That's how this is shaking out. And you can imagine, if that's what we do, the nervousness that will come in the marketplace. It'll be big. And if we come into this, now, now the next move on this, right? What you're gonna do in the next move, folks, is that you're taking a look, let me pull this this way. Because what you'd wanna do is that you wanna take a look at these bottom figures the first bottom figure we go into with that's the, the 14th, the low is 
the 17th. Those 14th of July. Well, here, let me just take this. I'm going to take the low because the low is June 17th. And then we get over and we're looking for, we're going to look for the, the volume on June 17th. And here we are right here. Oh, look at that volume. Oh, this is nice. See, this is cool, man. So look at this, folks. The 17th, see the 17th? The volume was 3.4 billion shares, okay? Now, that's really going to be hard to break 3.4 billion shares. So I suspect what you're going to see is that we're going to set up an ABC structure, potential ABC structure. It's going to go after it. It's going to go down into it, and we'll see whether it can break it. You know, it's a nice setup, man. That's the real bottom line. Um, out here today, um, absolute mind blower that the futures, you know, went up, for, you know, present from the trading gods this morning. There's no doubt about that. And this morning, you know, if you're trading these markets, folks, okay, you have to basically look at these world markets. This morning, the whole world, okay, was red. <laughs> and it's like, okay, you know, the futures are up 20, 25 bucks. The N NQs are up, you know, 80 to 100 bucks. I mean, it gave it up in a heartbeat. That's the typical situation, folks, that, you know, you have banking desk overnight. They can push it, push it, push it all night long. As they're pushing it, they're actually going short the market. That, that's how this thing shakes out. That's technically how it shakes out. So you better pay attention to it, man, because every sell off, every Rally is a sell-off. I mean, in a, in a monster way. Dollar. Let's go over to that dollar. So you take a look at the dollar, and what you're going to have with the dollar here is this: this is, this will not back off these highs. So the longer that we stay up here, the higher probability that we're going to break it. Now, if we break it, it's going to be heavy, man. <laughs> um, the scenario that I just laid out with. The market going to the lows and, and, and finishing ABC structure would be saying that it might get above it and then get back below it. Because if it goes to where I'm going to show you right now, you're going to have some destruction in the marketplace. Because the all-time high is 121.620. And that's what I actually started the gold report. And, you know, there's nothing in the way to stop this. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.